Hit that subscribe button to never miss my plant-based recipes and videos. One of my favorite breakfasts is granola, and I like to serve it just on top of a heaping pile of fruit. The problem with most granolas that you buy in the store is they're covered in processed sugar as well as oil, and so I wanted to make a version that didn't have that. So we start with four cups of some kind of an oat mixture. You can use quinoa flakes, bran flakes, whatever you want in there. And then I like to coat the oats with some kind of a seasoning. Right here, I've just got about a tablespoon of cinnamon, and I just mix that up nicely so it gets all over the place. On top of that, you want a cup of chopped nuts. Get in there and mix it right up. And then your other mix-ins. I tend to do things in quarter cup increments, so that way you can put as many things as you want in. Quarter cup of sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut, a quarter cup of cranberries, and a half a cup of raisins. I just want everything to get nice and combined. Before I started, I soaked a cup of dates in hot water. So we're gonna put that into a food processor. Don't throw out the water just yet, we're gonna use some of it. A half a cup of tahini. We're gonna put about a quarter a cup to a half a cup of that water that we soaked the dates in. Puree this inside the food processor until everything's pretty much combined. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're gonna pour this inside of here and then mix it all around until everything is really, really nicely coated. You wanna do this in a really big bowl. So that way you got some room for your spatula to move around. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna divide this as best I can between two pans. If you put a little bit of water on your palms, it'll make things stick a little bit less. Get this as flat as you can so it, it bakes pretty evenly. So we're gonna bake this at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. We're going to take this out halfway and we're gonna just give it a good stir around so all the stuff that's not cooked as well underneath will get a chance to brown up on top. So as you can see, this turned out really, really well. There's a nice little golden sheen on top of the granola. This is my breakfast most days. It's crunchy, it's smooth, and the fruit gives it a little blast of sweetness. Customize this however you want. Use different grains, different nuts, different seeds, different fruit. It can literally be a different cereal every single morning. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. You guys have anything else to do? Go to pbwithj.ca for these recipes and more. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and click that notification bell.